frankly, I think everyone should be reading labels on cosmetics, foods, or household items. Just having a better understanding of what products you are using puts you, the consumer, into control of what goes into and onto your body. So here are some of my personal tips to help you what to look out for in an ingredient list for skincare. Note the order in which ingredients are listed. When looking at most skincare ingredients lists, ingredients must be ordered from the highest to the lowest concentration. Certain ingredients are of greatest concern when they appear in the beginning of an ingredient list or are among the first 10 ingredients. I can't stress this one enough. Reading ingredients lists should be the first reaction after you found a product packaging appealing. So please start your good habits now. Start to do your own research. Start to understand ingredients in general. And please don't just get your information from these huge marketing machines. And at the end of the day, Google is your best friend. So use it. But what to look out for? When it comes to skincare, irritation and inflammation are pretty much the most extremes that you can do to your skin long term. And just thinking about daily assaults like products containing irritating ingredients, as well as not protecting your skin against the sun, can, well, generate a pretty irritating response. So irritants, as you can imagine, are a very dominant and humongous topic in themselves. So today I'm only going to focus on the very commonly used ones in skincare. The alcohols to be concerned about in skincare are... types of alcohols are at the top of an ingredient list, they are extremely problematic for all skin types. However, if these types of alcohols are found at the bottom of an ingredient list, there isn't enough concentration present to be a concern for skin. You might be thinking, well, my skin doesn't look irritated or inflamed, so the fragrance must not be a problem. In reality, skin on the surface likes to keep the fact it's being irritated a secret with no reaction at all. Below the surface, irritating ingredients can cause collagen to break down, get in the way of skin's ability to fight environmental damage, and can severely compromise skin's ability to heal. reaction that you don't see or feel is nonetheless hurting your skin's ability to reduce wrinkles, firm skin, and look younger. By the way, products labeled as natural or organic are not automatically better for your skin. In fact, there are so many natural ingredients that are extremely problematic for your skin, and many of them are fragrances. All right, so I hope this video gives you somewhat a better idea on how to go about reading an ingredient list. At the end of the day, this is not an exact science since there are no exact percentages given to each individual ingredient. However, this is actually the best we can do and it's way more reliable than just reading the front of the box and relying on marketing machines. But all I'm saying really is take in all the information you are getting and use your brain. Make up your own decisions, make up your own mind, be in charge. As a consumer especially, try to educate yourself as much as possible on ingredients, their effectiveness and so on. And please don't be afraid to Google unfamiliar ingredients. 
So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful and informative. So if it was, why not give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel because that would really help me out a lot. I appreciate every single one of you. I wish you guys a beautiful day and until we meet again. Thank you.